This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Collect the World Decepticon Megatron Blast Wave Weapons Base. Uh, the figure is part of the second wave of the Deluxe Cyberverse uh, sets. Um, he, uh, all right. Uh, let's start with this figure. He does not come with a shotgun. I, I just thought it would be more dramatic if I put a shotgun on him. I could have used a G.I. Joe shotgun, but instead I used the uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Legends Punisher shotgun. Uh, I think it's, uh, it has a more dramatic effect on it. Uh, since this guy doesn't actually come with a weapon, doesn't come with a gun, he just comes with this uh, trailer, transforming trailer. So I put the gun on him, but... Let's get rid of that. Okay. And on to the figure itself. Oh, sorry, before we begin. As always, uh, let's, let's have a, uh, a quick look at the packaging, if we can. And this is right here. As you can see, the, not the best boxes in the world. All right. The figure also comes with a diorama, as you can see. It's like a scene taken out of the Lion King. Uh, never really figured out why Michael Bay decided to shoot Megatron and Soundwave in Africa. Uh, there was really no significance of the place. They could have shot it anywhere, Antarctica, Jersey. Ah, uh, it would it would have worked anyway. There was no significance, in that. and there was like these small pets that were trying to repair him. Small minions, they were like pets to him. They just appeared once and never really had that much of a significant um, a significance to the movie. But anyway, that's Michael Bay. It's his artistry at work, and uh, whatever the movie's done. Let's hope for a fourth one without him in it. The figure is a straight repaint of the Wave 1 Cyberverse Megatron uh, without the small mini trailer that converts into a gun. I don't have that figure right now, so you will forgive me if I don't show it. I'm still waiting for that to go on clearance. Uh, great paint apps all over. I'm pretty happy with this one, except for the face. The face has like the all spark blue paint splattered on his damaged part which uh, I think they could have used a better paint. There's no all spark blue anywhere. They could have just left it silver. They could have used this and turned it or 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 the, that that paint over there. But instead they use all spark blue, whatever. It's not that bad. The figure itself is pretty cool. I'm actually not disappointed with this one. The entire set actually wasn't too disappointing as a size comparison. Here he is with a three and three quarters uh, Iron Man two movie figure. Uh, just so it's different for those of you who collect the three and three quarters. This is sort of Hasbro's version of the three and three quarters for the Transformers. Yeah, but it's probably just three. Anyway. So that's that. Articulation's got a ball jointed shoulder, no head articulation or torso articulation. It's got a ball jointed shoulder, double hinge, ah, oh, sorry, it's a hinge elbow and a ball jointed elbow. Uh, double, sort of effectively a double hinged elbow. A ball jointed hip, a hinge knee that has a rotating joint. And that's about it. So very, very cool. Proportion wise, her arms are a little bit long. That's fine. Now, this is the official mode for the, what do you call the battle base mode? Yeah, battle base mode. So, uh, let's get rid of the scene from Africa. Okay. Uh, now it's grown darker. All right. Yeah. Just adjust the lighting a bit. Okay. Um, this is officially the battle base mode. The whole idea is to have Megatron sort of use it as a weapon. Um, yeah, you could do that. He could effectively hold it and he could shoot Autobots with it. Come on, lighting is. 
is killing me. Come on. All right, that's better. Uh, you push these fins, and uh, out comes a missile. It's on a hair trigger, so I'm going to get rid of it. So that that's the battle base mode. Although I think, you know... It looks better this way. It comes packaged this way uh, with the uh, fins or the walls slightly angled. I think that's a lot better. It gives it a better, a sleeker effect on him. It's not really a base, let's face it. it it's sort of like a gunner's station. So I think uh, angling the uh, fins works better. That's that. Uh, there is also a jetpack mode or attack jet mode um, okay sorry the picture is just different from the instructions anyway um, okay uh, the instructions okay this is what the instructions say okay I'm not making this up uh, the instructions tell you to fold it this way. This is the sort of the jet mode for the trailer uh, for this particular piece of the set. Uh, you can also attach this in truck mode and you can attach it in jet mode because you attach it on the top of the truck right here which is also present in, obviously in truck mode. Uh, and that's supposed to be the jet mode based on uh, the instructions. This is what the instructions say. Uh, say. I'm not making it up. Okay, uh, now, I uh, don't know if this thing is removable. Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. The instructions don't tell you to remove it, but the box says it's there. That's the attack jet mode. Uh, the, yeah, the attack jet mode. Uh, and, and he could hold it just like that. Uh, I'm not sure how they did it, but yeah, okay, whatever. Maybe you should hold it this way. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just not, well, it's okay. Uh, yeah, it, it could work. It could work. I mean, it, it, I'm not complaining. It, it's, a, it's a plus. It's a lot better than just leaving it up here. But if you do leave it up here, it, it, it still works. It could work like that. Uh, you could then tilt the guns here. It could still be a, like a mech suit. Not a suit. Like a... What am I thinking? I'm thinking of the, uh, uh, again, the Centurions. Uh, it could be an assault suit like that. And he could use it as a jet mode. Just like that as well. Uh, something like uh, what Ace McCloud would be using. So it's fine. Uh... Again, it's a lot better than the uh, than than the mech suit mode that Optimus Prime had, so I'm I'm really liking it. Uh, I think there's a lot more playability with this mode with, with with this mode and the battle base mode compared to Optimus Prime, uh, and I and I, and I think in in that regard, I think this figure is a lot better uh, than the Optimus Prime figure. Certainly, I think the whole Megatron figure is better than the, the Cyberverse rendition of Optimus Prime. But, you know, s people seem to like that the Optimus Prime set more. But I, I'm, hap I'm really liking this one a lot more, just based on the playability and interface of the trailer with the figure. So that's the jet mode. Transform him into trailer. We're going to keep this in jet mode for now. Um, so that... Uh, oh, okay, I forgot to show one thing. Um... There is a, I was thinking of, well, getting rid of this one first, like folding it up so it's it's smoother. I was thinking, uh, talking about the the mech mode, um, I had my own version of this one. I thought it would be pretty cool if you just put his arms up like that, like, <laughs> like he really, really from Africa. Anyway, uh, fold the fins or the wings inward just like that and have the guns facing this way and then just have him that way and that way he can it's sort of like an effective uh, mech suit or attack suit he could be blasting out of Autobots 
I'm going after you, even if I'm too slow, because this thing weighs more than 10 tons. But he can, he can shoot Autobots this way as well. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Again, as I said, this particular set has a lot more playability than the Optimus Prime. And for some, and, and to a certain extent, it's a lot. It looks a lot cooler. So anyway, uh, let let's put it back in its uh, jet mode. Um, yeah, uh, this way doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, because we're, we're I'm going to show you how to interface this one in his truck mode. So truck mode, uh, if at all, my criticism about this figure, the transformation is a little bit difficult to vehicle mode. Uh, uh, kids out there would probably, they probably do it, but it, it, it takes some uh, practice the first time around. So parents, if you're watching, uh, here, if you, just follow. This is how I transform it so that it's not too difficult. The instructions are okay, uh, but, you know, there are a few points that, uh, that, that the instructions don't really emphasize transforming the figure. First thing you want to do, go ahead and rotate. Uh, they rotate uh, 360. It doesn't matter where you do it. But I, I have always, uh, ba based on the, uh, the practice runs I've done on this figure, it's easier to rotate them uh, inwards, as the instruction says, this way, uh, inward, rather than outward. Okay, join the legs together. Make sure that the ball joints are aligned. They're not skewed. They're just straight up. Okay. Uh, then go ahead and raise this one. Make sure that the, the, the instructions just tell you to raise it up. You don't put it all the way up. It, you just have to sort of do it per, uh, parallel his body. And then you're supposed to fold this one up. Now, I, I didn't find it easy the first time around, but it helps if you do it at the same time and sort of get the arms out of the way and then just sort of collapse them together. And put the arms up this way. All right, just like that. Uh... The instructions tell you to put the arms up later after you've done it, but I think it's be easier if you have the arms already in position when you do that. And uh, on my figure, there's always a gap. It, it somehow doesn't click as well. I'm sure in your figure it will click well. And then make sure that the grill locks both pieces together. It will snap in and out, you know, but you have to snap it up. Otherwise, the wheels are not going to roll. They're, they're going to have a hard time rolling, so snap it up. It, the clearance is very small. And then just uh, fold the arms that way. Finally, fold up. you must fold up the waist piece up first, and then fold the thighs forward, and fold the legs up. Once you've done that, go ahead and fold the feet up, and just tab it underneath the, uh, the roof. And there you have Cyberverse Megatron in his Mac truck mode. It is Mac, right? Right. Uh, Mac truck mode. It should be rolling properly. There we go. So rolls okay. Just need to have it leveled. Uh, in the Wave One version of so the Cyberverse, the single carded one, uh, he has his gun transforms to that mini trailer, and you can connect it here. Uh, in this case, you can connect the bigger trailer. So first up is the jet mode, which the instructions tell you to do so. So he's like a flying truck. Don't know how plausible that this one is, but it looks cool. It, it, I'm actually buying it. Uh, you can have in, you can even have it have the gun up to give it more effect. I don't know what effect you're trying to make. Transor Z! Anyway. Got caught up in 70s anime. Anyway, um, so that's that. Transform it into the trailer. Uh, pretty straightforward. Go ahead and rotate this one. And it sort of just tabs in uh, the guns like that. Next, rotate. And these... Uh, grooves right here. They're going to fit these thin blades in them. 
just like that. Be careful that you do not go ahead and just roughly fold it. Make sure you fold it neat and smoothly so you don't break those fins. Uh, go ahead and join pieces together and then this one just folds it. Oh, you can store the, the missile, I think, uh, without it being too conspicuous. Just make sure you don't press the fins because they are on a hair trigger. And there's the trailer. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this thing is obviously a gun. I wish they could have put, uh, made it more, I don't know. There's really no way to do it unless you had something that slides over. That would cost extra. Oh, and then fold this one in. And then just snap it on like that. And there you have uh, Cyberverse Megatron in his Mac truck mode. So very, very cool. Even the Mac truck looks a lot cooler than Optimus Prime. Here he is with his nemesis. Optimus Prime is even uh, about the same size. Yeah. Um, could you swap trailers? Perhaps. I don't know. No. No, no. They're just meant to fit. No, no, they don't. They have the same uh, uh, tabbing mechanism, but uh, sadly, the they're just meant for each other. The trailers are just meant for their uh, specific counterparts, robot counterparts. So there you go. Uh, very, very cool. Even the truck mode, I think, for some to a certain uh, to a certain degree, looks a lot better than the Optimus Prime truck mode. But, you know, I'm, I'm Optimus Prime is obviously a lot more popular than Megatron. And I'm sure a lot of people are be get, getting this set a lot more. But this set, in my opinion, is a lot better than this one. Uh, except for, you know, it could have used a bit more, uh, bit more paint apps. He could, they could have given him a weapon. Uh, still, you know, this guy, I'm itching to give it a 10 out of 10 for some reason. But uh, if I can give maybe a nine and a half, it's not perfect by all means. But uh, yeah, it's it's very close to a ten out of ten for me. Well, what a hey! Let's give it a what the heck. Give it a ten out of ten for crying out loud. It, it gets a, a perfect ten for me. This is the first Cyberverse I've I've given. Is it the first? I'm not sure. But one of the first ones, probably the only one that I've given a very high mark. And I'm really very impressed with this one for some strange reason. So congratulations, congratulations Hasbro. You've managed to impress FX friends yet again with a Cyberverse figure. A line that I utterly, utterly despise. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I mean, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you know my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash FXTrans. Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse, Megatron with the, uh, what do you call it, Blast Wave Weapons Base. Thanks for watching.